it's Will Ripley here. Let's break down Jumpin' Jack Flash by the Rolling Stones. Now, firstly, what you need to know is that quite often, Keith Richards would use a weird tuning, okay? Um, not necessarily a weird tuning, but an open tuning, which is commonly used for slide. But then live, they would even use a different tuning and a capo and some stuff like that. Anyways, um, I actually performed this one with my band right now. And uh, the way that I'm about to show you goes over super well. And it sounds very powerful. And you don't have to tune your guitar, right? So it's just, you know, standard tuning. You're good to go. So we start out. Okay, and the big thing there is my right hand here is I'm doing this really fast drum. So it's just down, up, down, up. Uh, it's just a very quick down, up, down, up, down motion, but of course it's very fast, and I've just got this uh, this chord handled in the sense that I've got the low E string muted and the high E string muted, so. Okay, and then we're gonna hit an E chord to a D chord to an A chord, okay? So that's kind of the, the intro of the song. And then I'd love this next section to sound something like this. So now the big thing there is that B major chord like we discussed, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go zero, two, and then open A, and then that's all that riff is, so zero, two, and then A, uh, just an open A. And then we just repeat that twice. Okay. okay, and then the, the end little bit is just zero, two, zero, all in the low E string. So that riff. Okay, so now the next part, the whole goes is. Uh, So there we've got a D chord, A chord, to an E chord, back to the B, okay? And I find if you drive this one with all down strokes, Kind of like emulate the intro that we talked about again. Okay. 